In the Poe Dameron comic, Poe and C-3PO are currently being chased by a pirate fleet led by First Order agent Terex. That fleet is made up of starfighters that have been cobbled together from the parts of different ships. In Legends, that style of starfighter was referred to as ugly, and I mean that as a class of ship. I'm not saying that they're not beautiful on the inside. So in this video, I'll be going over every ugly ship seen in Legends, covering what we've seen in canon so far, and then maybe we'll have some fun trying to name some of those new ones. In Legends, uglies were mostly used by pirates and smugglers, or other groups that just didn't have the money to buy a normal ship. Some ugly designs became popular and could be seen throughout the galaxy, but most were completely unique and just built with whatever a shipyard had lying around. Thanks to the scrap left behind in the Galactic Civil War, most uglies used a combination of rebel and imperial fighters. The end result usually wound up having the combined weaknesses of whatever it was made from rather than the strengths, and were often in constant need of repairs. The Chur Daki was a Twi'let craft assembled from TIE Fighter and X-Wing parts. In basic, its name translated to Death Seed. The S-foils of the X-Wing were attached to a spinning mount that was then attached to the main cockpit of the TIE Fighter so the wings could spin around the cockpit, much like a B-Wing. The clutch was also known as the Tri-Fighter. It started with a TIE Fighter cockpit with three triangular fins set equidistant around it. It sounds very similar to the TIE Phantom, except it had a round cockpit and no ability to cloak. The Corellian B-Wing, also called the C-Wing, was simply made by attaching the cockpit of a Corellian YT-series freighter on the body of a B-Wing. It was considered to be flying junk. The Death Raven was a unique and personal ship to a mercenary pilot named Aaron Kell. He built it using two B-Wing starfighters on either side of a cockpit. Using two B-Wings meant it had a massive armament, holding up to 40 proton torpedoes when fully loaded. This ugly was actually a fairly capable fighter, and it just looks awesome. The TIE Wing took the cockpit of a TIE Fighter and stuck it in between the engines of a Y-Wing. This was one of the more common models to be seen throughout the galaxy thanks to its simple design. Unfortunately, it combined the weaknesses of both fighters and the strengths of neither. It was also known as the Die Wing, because survival in this fighter was highly unlikely. The X-Tie took the wings of a TIE Fighter and slapped them onto the body of an X-Wing. It was also fairly ineffective. A much stronger version of the X-Tie was the X-Scepter, which used the wings of a TIE Interceptor instead of a standard TIE. The Interceptor wings allowed for more attack power, and these models performed better than the average Ugly, but still failed to match any normal Starfighter in combat. There was also a Z-TIE version, which would be the wings of a TIE Fighter on the body of a Z-95 Headhunter, which means it would look very similar to the X-TIE. The Y-TIE was still the same basic idea. Standard TIE Fighter wings put onto the body of a Y-Wing. It was actually much better than the TIE Wing because it combined the shields and weapons of a Y-Wing with the engines of a TIE Fighter. It was fairly durable and could deal out a significant amount of damage. The Z Scepter took the fuselage of a Z-95 Headhunter and jammed it through the cockpit of a TIE Interceptor. It was able to use two laser cannons from the Interceptor, and it kept the two from the Headhunter attached under the nose. It also included a twin-barreled cannon on top of the cockpit, and even a slot for an astromech droid. Finally, there was a ship known as the Z-Wing in Legends, although it was never seen. I imagine it would have looked like a slightly downgraded X-Wing. So now that you know the history of the ugly starfighter from Star Wars Legends, let's take a look at the canon. The term has yet to appear in canon stories, but I imagine it's only a matter of time. The Poe Dameron comic gives us our first visuals of any uglies, but an ugly ship actually appeared in the book Tarkin over two years ago. And instead of a starfighter, it was actually a capital ship made of the central sphere of a Trade Federation ship combined with the forward portion of a Commerce Guild destroyer likely meaning a recusant class. As for starfighters, we have plenty of new examples in the Poe comic, and they seem to be even more creative. Like this AT-AT head with S-foils and interceptor wings, which viewer Quinn the Spin named the All-Terrain Assault TIE, which I like. Or this flying ATST, Or this TIE fighter with X-Wing wings. The new canon really seems to be having a lot more fun with the variety here, and I'm really digging it. 
So I thought it would be fun to hear what suggestions you guys have to name some of these monstrosities. So leave any ideas you have in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel for new Star Wars lore and news videos every single day, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.